YouTube analytics can be your best friend when you are growing a YouTube channel, but you have to know where to look and you have to know how to take action on what you saw. So I wanna go into a channel today, one of our client channels. I'm gonna show you one of the biggest mistakes I see when growing a channel. Let's get started, I'm Owen Video, and you may have seen me at Vid Summit. you may have seen me at a conference hanging with some of the biggest YouTubers uh, out in the country, and that's what we do, is we help people grow YouTube channels that make money. We focus on the money side, the monetization side. Be sure to follow the channel. So immediately you can see that I'm looking at Emily Benito's channel, Living San Diego Dreams, and I'm in the YouTube Shorts performance. Go ahead and give Emily Benito a follow. I put her link down below. Thank her for allowing us to get into her channel and to show us some analytics that'll help you grow a channel. So a couple things. The number one thing I want you to look at right away, this is not the big thing I want to show you. This is like the first thing is your subs per 28 days, okay? This should be a large number, no matter what your channel size is right now. You want, this is a great indicator of you having a video that takes off, because typically it will be one video. So I want you to look at this number and I want you to let it sort of poke at you a little bit. The numbers have to hurt. I think a big problem with YouTubers today, there's this sense of like, I wanna feel like I'm doing good all the time. And look, I'm all about that. I, I want you to feel happy and fulfilled as a person. But at the same time, like you really gotta understand your numbers and respect them, right? If that number is low, you're not doing a good job of converting subscribers to your channel. So I want you to be paying attention to that number and just, just treat it with some respect. Now, here's the big mistake that everybody's making. And I, if the big point of this video today is this number right here, this five out of 10, there is so much gold in this data right here. So you can see that this video is similar to what you already get, right? Five out of 10. But look at the top videos here. Don't do this when buying a home, 2.5 thousand views. This was like a happy accident. This video uploaded twice, brought 3,000 views to the channel. Here's the thing. These are the top three videos. And then look at the videos underneath. Should you buy a home? Uh, how to leverage, building wealth, breaking news. It just going like 1.1K. I'm looking for the biggest gap, okay? And the biggest gap is right here between 418 and 1 1.1. Huge gap. And then after that, it's just a trickle down effect, okay? So here's the big mistake. The only videos that you should be making after you get results like this are videos that are similar to this. So why are you making these other videos, right? This should immediately change your behavior. You should do more. Don't do this when buying a home, okay? Or like, don't do this when moving to San Diego. Don't do this when X, Y, Z. That's one way you could duplicate this title. Now, how about this? Mortgage hack to save you $91,000. I, I wouldn't recommend duplicating this video again, like uploading it again, but make another one that's like mortgage hack to save you $31,000. Mortgage hack to help you get approved, right? So you're taking that mortgage hack and you're, you're kind of creating more, more content off of it. Now, I can't stress this enough. Look at these results. This is one of our clients, Austin Armstrong. He's a good friend. He came into our workshop where we showed him this strategy here. And look at how it helped him grow a huge following on YouTube. He actually got a silver play button. Some of the best results we've ever seen from following this strategy. And you know, in the beginning, he was actually like, oh, and I, I just don't think it's that simple. So we really kind of wrestled to coming to this conclusion, but he followed through and his channel surpassed even our own channel, like very, very quickly. So it's exciting to see. Your analytics will tell you what videos to make. So when you're getting 1,000 views, 2,000 views, and that's way above the rest, make more of those videos. Now, if you got a bigger channel, look, don't scoff at small channels, right? Like if you got a bigger channel, you're getting 10,000 views on every video, okay? 
then your next step is 30,000 views. Now, how do you get that to 30,000 views? Because I guarantee the same thing is happening in your analytics. You've got trends that you could be following on. Look, we got more videos on the channel that will go into strategy. I hope that you'll watch them here. We're also examining new tools, new tricks, things that you can use to start making video now, driving traffic to your offers, converting those offers faster with less work from you. Now is the time for leaders to step up on YouTube. So I hope you'll join us, subscribe to the channel, download our guides. We'll see you in the next video.